How's it going guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another NBA 2K24 My NBA Rebuilding Challenge. Got another one of these. I put a player named Zero Overall League. And we're using the Raptors because Jonathan Cano, uh, an old old friend of our the channel. Uh hoping it would be Yank Purtle. Uh that would have suffered since his birth since he had former now. He didn't give me a suggestion to do him, but he mentioned Yaka Perto would be celebrating in that Victor Weminyama video that we posted. If you guys didn't check that out, go check it out. So I thought, let's put Yaka Perto. He's not like a star player or, you know, a, someone that's viewed as a star player. So I'm going to be trying to see what he could do in a league of zero overalls. We'll see how he can do. Maybe can, can he, will he lose a game? I don't know. Leave a like, subscribe, enjoy the content, and comment down below this video. We've got our socials, play the second channel, the main channel down in the description. If you do like other content from me, TJP, with that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, of course, injuries will be off as per usual. And as you can see, we have Yaka Pertle here. We're on the Raptors, 81 overall. And of course, the rest of the league in our 40s, uh, which is pretty cool. Of course, there are some G Leaguers that aren't. So I'm actually curious to see how well uh, Yaka Pertle can do in a league like this. And I guess they're going to find us to simulate. So we're going to hop on and see what happens. So I'm curious to see what kind of stats he's going to put up. I, I really am, and I'm I'm curious if we're going to possibly lose a game. Yaka put up with 35 points, 96 rebounds, 3 assists. That's a good start. Very good start. Now, I don't know if he'll be... He's obviously not going to put up 100 points. I mean, if he's the guy that does it, oh my goodness. That would be crazy, but I, I don't think that'll be the case. But I am curious to see how good he can do. Um, we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, if there's any other players you guys want to see me do this with, let me know down in the comments below. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it. We're just going to see how well, uh, how well they can do. So, so far, uh, Jakob 24 and 0, make it 25 wins, which is pretty good to see. Looking good so far, 28 now on the season. And with 30 wins in, so far, no losses. I'm actually, yeah, like I said, I, I'm wondering if there's maybe a specific overall you have to be in the game where, you know, can you be a 65 overall, the worst player in the game? Can the worst player in the game go 82 and out? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, so far, Yaka Pirtle. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Jakob Pertl and the boys lose a game against the Clippers. 60 to 57. So Jakob Pertl could not in a league of zero overalls go 82 now. Wow. The Clippers bested them. That's crazy. So okay. I mean, I was about to say, how, what's the overall? I mean, I guess 81. Wow. And a, a, a very, very surprising loss there to the LA Clippers. Wow. I mean, I mean. Wow, that's a shocker. I was not expecting that. I was not ex expecting a loss here, but... I mean, listen, Yaka Pearl still having a great season, of course, but and they're probably still gonna win a championship, but we lose two games. What? Oh my goodness. We just lost two games. Who the hell is this Fleming guy? Oh, they signed Gabriel Fleming. 38 rebounds 36 rebounds from him. And Yaka Pearl didn't shoot that well. Character <laughs> over over fifteen. Thaddy's in one for fourteen. Brick City. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised. Wow, two losses. Now, granted, there was a 68 on the team, but even then, that's crazy. So, Jakob Hurdle, I mean, are we going to at least win 80 games? Let's see. Maybe we, It's possible that we lose another game. So, we may not even win. Could we, is there a chance we lose a game in the playoffs? I mean, possibly. Maybe, we, can we, is it possible we don't win the finals? I don't know. Well, Yaka Perto, MVP, 18.8 points, 34.6 rebounds. Uh, wow. Uh, that is <laughs> that's pretty insane to see. 
uh, for Biakup. We already gave him, what were his game highs? 35. Literally the first game of the season. Three pointers made, one. <laughs> Attempted one in his career. Doesn't take many three uh, three pointers. So he he had 101 rebounds in a in a game, 80 offensive rebounds, 44 defensive rebounds. Literally the first game of the season. So cool, cool. Was he defensive player of the year? Not even the defensive player of the year. It was Gabriel Fleming because he had more rebounds, I guess. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. I would assume he was on all defensive first team, though. He was. He was. But he didn't win the defensive right there. That's crazy. So, I think, yeah, I think maybe, yeah, you, if you're a certain type of build. I mean, is not like a superstar player. He's not projected to be. So, I mean, okay. I mean, we, we, we could, we, we're definitely going to see Portland in the finals. Uh, because we are going to get there. We win game one. See how Jakob does in the playoffs. I mean, that was a good playoff game. I mean, the scoring's not going to be too high, but again, against this team, should be okay. Let me get a sweep. Jakob wasn't even the leading scorer. It was Dennis Schroeder. He got out. You got outscored by a 40 overall player. That's crazy. Again, it's probably because his tendencies, but... Wow. Pistons beat them. Pistons in the playoffs. I mean, if only that was real life. <laughs> but they are a ways away from being there. And um, there it is. Yaka Pirtle in the conference finals. Atlanta beat them game one. Beat them game two. Beat them game three. And we are in the finals. Beat the box score. Yaka Pirtle. Solid. If we sim it the round, there's Fleming and there's Pirtle. So he's... It's, it's interesting to look at the shooting splits and the defense and the stats from Jakob. Ooh. 39 in the playoffs. That's his uh, all-around season high, including the playoffs. Well, I had to see if they win a championship. Game one, they win. Game two, Portland wins by 15. Okay, this could be an interesting series. Game three, the Raptors win. Game four, the Raptors win. So we're going to win game five. At home, first quarter, going to the Raptors. Second quarter, going to the Trailblazers. Third quarter, going to the Raptors. And do we have a close one? We thought we were, but with a minute left, we're up 25. This game is over. Let's hop on in and watch the championship celebration. So lost a game. We lost a few games, but interesting. Very interesting experiment. And there he is at the line with a minute to go. Yaka Pirtle shooting some free throws. I am going to be playing the game. Makes the first one. What are we at today? 26 points, 63 rounds, 4 assists. We can make it, not going to make it 27. I didn't like that shooting free, th that free throw motion at all. There's Siakam. He's got 16. Malachi Flynn. So with uh, 48 seconds, Fleming making the shot right there. 24 point game. Let's give the ball to Pirtle. Let him go to work. Post up. Okay, give it back to him. Just, oh, go up for that. There it is. Nice, 28 points now for Pirtle. When Pirtle's a god, <laughs> crazy. And with 24 seconds, this game is pretty much over. We have Shaded Sharp shoot. We could have uh, Johnson shoot. We can have Siakam not playing any defense. There's Pearl grabbing rebound number 64. And might as well take a three pointer with him. Let's get a screen here, maybe. Set me another screen. Oh, nope, never mind. Let's chug it up. <laughs> Trying to get a shot off, but we couldn't. Alright, so we win the championship. But we didn't go 82 now, which is kind of crazy. And we did we lost games to Portland. Now, granted, they did sign a player, but still. And we lost to Portland once in the regular season. I forgot who the other team we lost to was. Was it the Clippers? I don't know. But, of course, since we're the home team, there won't be anybody celebrating with us. 
I don't know why it's only the row teams that the this thing happens, but there's McDaniels calling in Dennis Schroeder. So he's hoisting up the trophy. Finals MVP. McDaniels. Don't think it's gonna actually be him. It's gonna definitely be Jakob Pertl. But we'll let we'll let the game think that. We'll let the game think that, I guess. So let's take a look here. How well we did in the finals as well. Looking just like that. Jakob Pertl had a great uh, great finals. Pretty solid finals, I'd say. So there you go. Uh, but didn't didn't go 82 and 0. Didn't go 16 0 in the playoffs, but still. Obviously really good in a league like this. Let's go to the full screen and close out the video. Guys, well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below some more video ideas. We have our socials, playlist section, let me in channel down in the description. If you do like the content from me, TJP. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.